about three hours before the interest rate Fed cut came out, I went to the 10-year Treasury bill, and that's the rate that actually is directly tied to interest rates, correct, Mike? More so than a it's, Fed rate it's cut. It's the chart that you should watch if you're looking for like daily movement. What's happening with mortgage rates? If you watch the 10-year Treasury note, that's that's what's happening with mortgage rates that day. You could also look at mortgage-backed securities, but that's a much harder chart to like decipher. Uh, yeah, decipher. Exactly. Right. Good word, Johnny. So Thank the you. ten the 10-year Treasury bill right before the Fed came out with the cut that morning, it was at 3.63, right? 3.63%. And when the Fed cut the rate, it went up to 3.65. Oh, even that morning, it was uh, it was up the morning before the Fed decision Oh, before the so I only looked at the 3.63. Yeah. And then it went to 3.65. And then I looked later in the day. And then it went to 3.67. And then I looked later in the day. And I'm like, where where's the rate cut, guys? Come on, we're waiting, right? Yeah. And then it, and it got all the way up to almost 3.75 over the next over the next couple of days. Then CNBC just this week came out uh, like Sunday or something saying, hey, the Fed cut the rate. How come interest rates haven't dropped? Right, CNBC. And I'm like, you guys are morons. You guys are the ones that are paid to do this for a living. How could you not explain this to the public better? People don't understand that the Fed rate cut is not the same as an interest rate cut on your mortgage. And that's the talking points you needed, right, Mike? Yeah. Uh, at that point, because people call up, hey, the Fed cut the rate a half a point. I want to refi. Right. And then, uh, yeah, the talking point was more like mortgage rates have already lowered, guys. I mean, that's to baked sum it in. up. Mortgage rates, have, the Fed's decision was already baked into mortgage rates. We we're anticipating this. That's why rates have come down. I and I'm like that everybody thought that this was going to be like the problem solve of everything. The buyers are going to come back. They're not going to worry about uh, the high cost of the house. They're not going to worry about the insurance rates anymore. They got the low interest rate, right? They're getting that low interest rate. And the Fed's cutting a half a point. <laughs> I'm so excited. And you read it everywhere. The headlines were just amazing. Here, here's an example. Um, now, th this part's true, but it's the reason why it's true is the part that's crazy. Here's a Yahoo Finance. Signs of housing demand surge after interest rate cut, right? So everybody's thinking, wow, you know, and there's just so many headlines like that uh, about uh, the interest rate cut and how it's going to be a boon to the, uh, to the buyers. 